Several years ago, I stopped telling students, keep your racket head up on the volley, and it has made all the difference in their success at the net. Let me explain. One of the most common mistakes players make on a volley is they have a low racket head like this, right? And we think, oh, I'm gonna tell my students to keep the racket head up. But you can actually notice if the student who hits a volley like this has the racket head up, they would have missed the ball. So good thing their racket was down, producing a weak wrist position, wobbly at contact, it's hard to hit touch volleys and angle volleys, drop volleys. Well, the fix isn't to keep your racket head up. The fix is to keep your hand down. If you're someone who volleys like this, and for you coaches, you know that beginners tend to do this, the fix isn't to tell them to keep the racket head up. The fix is that the hand is too high compared to the ball. This is where the hand placement is on someone who has their racket head down. This is the hand placement, same ball height, this is the hand placement for someone who has their racket head up. So instead of telling people to keep the racket head up, tell them to keep the hitting hand down. It seems like it would be six in one and half a dozen in the other and it doesn't really make a difference. It makes a huge difference. When the ball is coming to you, if you're someone who struggles with this type of volley, keep your hand below the contact. That forces the racket head to be up to make contact with the ball and now you've got a strong wrist position that can handle touch, that can, you don't need a big, a big swing and the ball just rebounds off the racket. You can handle pace, it makes all the difference. So, ball comes to you, keep your hand down below contact rather than just thinking the racket head up and you'll have the exact wrist position that you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe people in your local area you can use this new volley technique against, then use my link for Player Court, and it's playercourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. I want you to go out and film yourself hitting volleys. Stop the volley at contact. Is your hand level to the ball? Is it above the ball? Or is your hand below the ball? If your hand is below the ball, you're doing it correctly. You use this new volley technique for your own game, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.